Hey guys, how's it going? So in this video, I'm going to show you guys um, how to use this basis set format converter app that I have created. So basically it is an online tool that allows you to enter a basis set in the format of one of the quantum chemistry softwares and convert it into another. So when you load this app in your browser, the first thing that you see is that you have this input block and this output block. And by default, it um, the input format is set to TurboMole and it already has this example uh, def2 SVB basis for the carbon in TurboMole format. And as an example, the output is already set to crystal by default. <clears throat> and you see this, um, this base is set in the crystal format. So now I'm going to show you how you can use it to convert um, from one format to another. So for example, let's say you're on this crystal web page where you want to use a crystal P or B um, basis set, for example, for the periodic structure. So let's go ahead and click on carbon. And then you can go ahead and select either C, P, O, B, T, Z, V, P, Rev2 or Rev1. So let's go ahead and click on this Rev2. Just go ahead and copy this text and press Control C. And then um, go ahead and um, press Control A to delete, uh, to select everything and then press backspace or delete to delete it. And then you can just do Control V to enter your and this copied basis set. But now um, to get the output, when you click here, you will receive an error because of course this is not in the turbo mode format, but rather crystal. So just go ahead and select crystal from this drop down menu. And since the output is crystal, so essentially you get the same thing, but you can then uh, change it to turbo mode. So this time you get the carbon um, basis um, for this POB TZVP Rev2 in the turbo mode format, or maybe the Gaussian format. NW cam and so on. Then you can just go ahead and copy all this text and use it in um, whatever uh, software you're using. Now, similarly, you could do another thing is um, you could go to the Turbo Mold website, get the Turbo Mold basis set for let's say platinum, select the basis type and whatever. So let's just go ahead and get the basis set. So you, here you have the basis set of SVP for carbon. And what you notice here is um, that you have the basis set SVP plus the ECP for that. So what you, you need to do, you could either just select the basis, but um, you could also select the complete thing. So just go ahead and select the complete thing until the dollar end sign, and then pre um, press Control C to copy, and then come back here, press Control A, Control V, to paste everything, select Turbo Mold in the input format and the output, let's say Gaussian. And you see that you have the first, uh, you have the platinum basis set, then you have the platinum ECP starting here. So it's a really nice that it works for both um, ECPs and basis set. And although um, there is one caveat that I should mention, so for example, as an example here, I have the Dev2 ECP basis set for the platinum, but it is alone this time. So there's no preceding basis set here. In this case, if you just go ahead and copy this um, block of code and um, paste it over here, then unfortunately um, you get an error when you click here. Yeah, so it doesn't work. So it only works if your block of code, for example, here contains the basis set so for example, here I have the AG Dev2 SVP basis set, then I have the iodine um, basis set, and then finally I have the AG Dev2 ECP effective core potential. And this time if I copy everything, then um, it, it will work actually. So now if I go ahead and paste it here, I need to click somewhere else on the screen to make it work. And now you see that um, you get the basis for AG, for the iodine I, and then finally for the ECP. So yeah, so it works really nice. And finally, one more thing that I would like to show you guys is the main reason why I actually created this tool. So um, for example, for the crystal POB basis set, if you go ahead and click on PT, that is platinum, and select the POB TZP Rev2, then again, you get this kind of a basis set, which actually includes both um, the, the ECP as well as the basis set. So I go ahead and paste it. Actually, I should just um, get rid of this because this is not a valid uh, text. 
and then select crystal in the input format. And now you see that in the turbo mold format, um, I get, first of all, the platinum basis. So uh, this, um, this starting portion in the crystal format is for the ECP and the basis set starts somewhere here. So we have three S type orbitals, so three S and then the, their exponents, 30, 27, 40, and so on. And then finally, we have the ECP for the platinum, for the POB, T0, P, Ref2. So yeah, so that is it. I hope you guys um, um, find this tool useful. And um, the link to this website, I will put in the uh, description down below. So don't forget to check that out. And I hope this uh, tool is of assistance to you. So thanks for watching and have a great day.